Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We've talked about uh, what it's like to have more than one monitor on your desk, but we haven't talked about what it's like having virtual desktops in your computer. Um, virtual desktop would be a desktop that doesn't really exist, but yet it does. And there's software that will allow you to have many virtual desktops from the same machine that you're operating on. And uh, it would think about it as a, a desktop that's there, but it's not always visible. And why would you want a virtual desktop? Well, if you have a lot of windows open at one time, or if you want to have a certain layout for, let's say, Photoshop, you've got all your toolbars and palettes and everything, and then you want another desktop that has your internet surfing things laid out, and you can flip between these desktops, these virtual do desktops with a, with a key press or a mouse click, that's the advantage, not having to move windows around and being able to access more than one desktop without having to install more, more hardware. And this is done through software. Now, OS X in Leopard will come with a virtual uh, desktop software called Spaces. And thank you, Richard, in the chat room for reminding me. The uh, um, Linux comes with, well, now it does. Most distributions come with uh, a nice uh, desktop. In fact, let me show you the Linux one. The, the Linux one, Barrel, uh, as it's commonly referred to, is, is absolutely amazing. The three-dimensional... Uh, flipping around between one desktop and another and the application flipping. Linux is starting to make Windows and OS X look like crap. I mean I never thought I'd I never thought I'd see the day that something created open source uh, could take on and rival million if not billion dollar budgets for UI and user experience. Um, this is just a demo of, of not just the, the virtual desktop, but all the effects that Barrel can do inside of Linux. Uh, this is a video that uh, there's plenty of Barrel videos on YouTube. I've linked to them in the past, certainly. Uh, that's, that's the software. That's what virtual desktops look like inside of Linux, by and large. The software, the best software I found for Windows, there's quite a few of them, uh, but the best one I found also happens to be open source. It's known as Virtua Win. Uh, and uh, we'll have a link for it, of course, in the show notes at our website, chris.perillo.com forward slash media. The, uh, the idea behind the virtual desktop through VirtuaWin, you can configure it, you can have so many virtual desktops, I wouldn't have too many if I were you, you know, just maybe just a couple extra. Um, you can configure it and, and set it to your liking. Uh, for instance, this is how easy it is to manage multiple windows between desktops. Let's say I've got the, this is the Chris Perlo Live desktop widget that was built by KTech. I just maximized it there. So look, there I am. Watch. Slap. Okay, enough of that. So uh, he, he's made this free widget so that I don't have to run a web browser to be able to view my live feed to make sure that it's working and other people that are in live.perlo.com can as well. I'm going to move this little window to the virtual desktop that I have right here. To do that, I'm going to grab a hold of the window, click, drag it to the side. What happened to all the other windows? Did they disappear? No, they're on my uh, other desktop, my first desktop. This is my second desktop. It's a virtual desktop. I can plant that window right there, and I'm going to move my mouse back over to the other desktop, which is sitting over there. And so now I'm here. There's no weird animations or anything. It's not as fancy as, as Barrel uh, is. Uh, now I'm going to go and grab that widget because it's not here. It's on that other desktop. So I'm going to go my, move my mouse over here. So now I flipped it to this desktop. Look at that. There I am. Uh, I can actually, well, let me go back to the other one. I'm going to click and drag it and move it over there. And help, help, it's back on my first desktop. I've got virtual desktops up there too. So let me nudge it up there. Oh, all right. There I am. Now I've got, I can plant it there and go and do my uh, other things. So I can have many windows open at one time and get to them relatively quickly, these various layouts, without really uh, stressing out and moving windows around. That's the beauty of virtual desktops. Do you have a fake vir uh, virtual desktop program that you like? Shareware, freeware, open source? Let us know. We're always curious to look at the new things.